Hey guys, this is FXP iTouch Reviews from FXP Forum. I am proud to announce that I am probably the first person to show you how to jailbreak the iOS 4.1 with the latest Red Snow that was released actually today. You can see it right here in the iPhone dev blog, dev team blog actually. So here as you see there is a new Red Snow they published. As you see Red Snow 0.9.6 B1 B is probably beta 1. This is the beta version. Um, it only works on the Mac at the moment but soon it will also work on Windows so don't really worry about that. So as you see it works on the iPhone 3G and iPod Touch 2G only for now. Mac OS X only and Warp 4.1 as you see firmware from Apple. So um, I'm actually gonna jailbreak my iPod Touch 2G MB model um, and as you see there is problem with the MC model so at the moment it does not work on the iPod Touch 2G MC model correctly so, I'm, so I, I don't recommend doing that on the MC model iPod Touch 2G so as I said it works for the iPhone 3G and iPod Touch 2G for the moment at the moment MB model only tomorrow is gonna be Wednesday and the snow breeze is gonna be published and it's gonna really work on should work on all, almost all of the devices. Um, you need to have all of your devices jailbroken before with the 3.1.2 jailbreak. If they weren't, it will not work. Okay, so let's really begin with it. So first of all, you go down here and um, here you will have a download download links here below in the page so I will just put a link in the description of the blog and you can here just find the links for your download okay so let's really I'm gonna show you that I am I just updated my device to the 4.1 um, firmware and just to show you something cool, you see all of my cracked apps are right here. Um, this is probably because of the 3.1.2, um, pro probably because of an, a hole um, there was in the jailbreak of jailbreak me I think or I don't know. So it basically kept the apps right here. Or I don't know why it kept still. But as you see there is no Cydia, it's not jailbroken it's completely new and I'm gonna show it's a 4.1 just by going to settings I'm gonna go to general and I'm gonna go to about and as you see 4.1 firmware alright so as also you see I have a game center right here so let's let's just do it okay so you will need a custom um, not custom an original iOS 4.1 um, IPSW file for your device which you can find from the original Apple side or by going to the side I'm gonna show you right here I'm gonna put it also in the description by going to spirit jailbreak.org spiritjb.org and here we're just gonna go to downloads firmwares and here you will have all the firmwares for your devices so I have a iPad Touch 2G so as you see iPad Touch 2G iOS 4.1 this one I will put also the link in the description don't worry so after we have all the necessary files 
we're gonna open up the red snow, the latest red snow I showed you. Okay, so as it's the red snow beta one, and we're gonna select our iOS 4.1, as you see. So we're gonna select it by going to browse and going to select it where I save it and click open okay is it a newer fixed model if this is an MC model of the iPad Touch 2G if you're not sure you can find your model type okay so it will ask you if it's an MC model because it's important Note that MC models cannot yet have custom logos and they require a third boot on power up. So basically maybe MC will work but the problem is you will have to always turn on devi the device with a computer you can't really turn it off and on. So this really sucks. That was probably when the 3G just came out, the iPad Touch 3G and the MC model came out and there was a lot of problems like that so yeah no it's not an MC model because it's an MB model I'm gonna show you how you can check if it's an MC or MB model you can just go to settings sorry about that go to settings go to general go to about and as you see it says MB model right here MB model MB and etc so MB model in the model okay so check model and it should say MB or MC okay so this is an MB model so I'm gonna click here no okay and I'm gonna click next okay so you're gonna check those files I install Cydia um, um, enable home screen wallpaper um, enable battery percentage um, enable custom recovery logo custom boot logo reverse boot so we're gonna install Cydia enable home screen wallpaper and then um, I don't really want the battery percent but you can enable um, home screen wallpaper uh, Cydia and also you can enable multitasking so now we can do a multitasking now I'm gonna click next and right now I'm just gonna just a sec Okay, so I'm just gonna do the following. Okay, so I'm gonna click next and in the same time click on the power button. Three, two, one, release the off button and keep holding on the home screen button Ta-da! <laughs> so I'm gonna be back when it's done okay as you see downloading jailbreak data I'll be back